People who have gotten their bosses fired, how? He grabbed the back of my neck and said if you ever say I'm wrong in front of a customer again, I will beat your ass. I went to the GM and told him, and my supervisor was relieved of his duties about five minutes later. I took a cell phone video of her taking money from the safe and putting it in her wallet. I knew she was doing it, and I also knew that the moment it came out that money was missing she'd blame it on me. She was so stupid that she didn't realize she should stop doing that while I was standing 10 feet away with my phone out and facing her. She knew you were there, and still did it. Even the most stupid thief should know that standard procedure is to give the person who has proof a cut of the proceeds. The CEO publicly praised me for completing a task that my boss had struggled with, so my boss retaliated by forwarding all of his tasks to me in an effort to overwhelm me with work. I actually found his job pretty manageable, which the CEO also noticed and fired him, giving me his job and office. LMAO, MVP is the CEO who actually noticed. Yeah that had to be a stressful chunk of time regardless of outcome or confidence level. Like oh fuck this is awkward. It was my supervisor. It got to the point that I had decided to quit. I had my resignation letter in my purse, but decided to let his boss know why I was quitting. Supervisor would talk about all the people on our team constantly, but only behind their backs. I got so sick of telling him to cut it out. My husband and I happened to work at the same place, different departments, and my supervisor would make sexual comments about threesomes, with him you, what hotel we picked for our afternoon delight, shit like that. It was so bloody uncomfortable. Apart from this he spent most of his supervising time outside smoking. Problem was supervisor was one of the guys, and I was the only girl. Turns out his boss was disgusted, told his boss who lost his mind. They started an investigation which took three days. They interviewed staff they corroborated what I said. They checked the security cameras, saw he was spending most of his workday outside smoking. And was fired. When he was told he guessed, wasn't hard, that I was the person who complained and tried to get to me to apologize that I took it the wrong way. The best feeling was my co-workers surrounding me as he was wailed out. That was a lovely ending to it all. Was working maintenance at an ice rink. The rule for anyone who knows how an ice rink works is if the Zamboni doors open, you get the fuck off the ice. Some dickhead decided to ignore the fact that they were open, and that I was standing in the doorway, and decided to rip off one last slap shot. The puck bounced off the glass and hit me in the head. I was okay, but reported it to my boss, because we have to fill out an incident report for things like that. The boss asked are you okay? I said I feel okay, then he responded with well, we don't really have to report it then do we? I reminded him of the protocol, but it was clear he didn't want to do it. Since he wouldn't do it, I sent a descriptive email of the incident up to the administration, because I felt there should be some sort of documentation paper trail in case god forbid I ended up having a brain hemorrhage or something a few days later. The boss was fired by my next shift. Our desks were separated by a 5-foot cubicle wall. He was under the mistaken impression that it totally blocked sound. Thus I got to hear all his loud phone conversations, primarily his booty calls including those with his boss's fiancé. I figured it was none of my business and tried to ignore it. Well there was a position in another department that I was interested in, and as per procedure I handed in an application to my talkative boss. Didn't hear anything further and followed up a couple of days later, only to be told that something must have happened to the application. Filled out another one and handed it in. As I return to my desk I hear the boss on the phone with a friend laughing about how he had just trashed my application again and how he was never going to let go of me. I go to boss's boss and angrily offer my resignation, telling him what I had just overheard, explaining that I was constantly hearing his phone calls like his booty calls like with woman's name and woman's name and boss's boss's fiancé's name. He got very quiet and told me to go back to my desk and he'll take care of everything. The next day I come in and boss is gone. The day after, I have an interview with the other department, got the position. 
I tend to avoid office drama, but really, he should have stuck to screwing his boss's fiancé, and not tried to screw me as well. My boss hired me at a surprisingly good salary, and got me two raises in the first five years. When the work slowed down to our department, he defended all his employees to management. They fired him the same day they fired me. I quit a job because I didn't get the raise I was promised and my workload kept increasing. I was coming in an hour early and leaving an hour late just to keep my quotes from being more than 24 hours old. Got a new job, needed something old job sells so I call for a quote. For days later I get a response but the info is incorrect. The whole quote is dead wrong. Called old boss to see what was up. I can't hire anybody worth a damn. I laugh and tell him it sounds rough. He asks me to come back. Says he had to hire two guys to do my old job, but they are both tards and one of them quit. I told him that extra cash I asked for was less than the cost of two people. He sighed and goes I know. I told him not to stress on the quote and wished him good luck. In college I worked in a takeout restaurant just off campus, and we were all employed by the school. I was 17 to 18 years old, back in 2007-2008, and my boss, the manager, was a 40-something creeper. Hitting on me, touching me inappropriately, trying to massage my shoulders, tickling me, putting his hands on around my waist, despite me asking him to stop. Then he friend me on Facebook, I declined, and suddenly my work schedule was changed. I was on shift during hours when I had class, and when I explained that problem, I got taken off the schedule altogether. I told the assistant manager what was going on, which I was explicitly told by the manager not to talk to the assistant, and he reported what was going on to upper management boom, manager was fired. I worried for a while if he was going to come after me for that. Phoned him to tell him, I won't be at work for the rest of the week as my mom is terminally ill in hospital. The next day, about an hour after she passed away, he phoned and asked why I wasn't at work, I just hung up on him so I wouldn't say anything that would get me in trouble. The next day I sent the area manager a WhatsApp message explaining what he'd be done and attached a video of him breaking the freezer door while having a tantrum which cost the store nearly £5,000 in lost stock and the repair costs, which he'd told the AM it broke on its own. He got fired that day and I got two weeks off with full pay basically said I'm quitting because of X. Boss looked at me and said can I convince you to delay this by a week? Worked from home for a week, then she X was gone. Worked there for five more years, then seven at the company that acquired us. So where did you hide the body? <laughs>